Hey guys, I'm Sachin. Hey, I'm Likita. Hi, I'm Vega. So we are the team AI Idea who have went to Mumbai last week. And then I thought to collab with Vega and Likita as they won their recent tech hackathon. From our perspective, when Sachin came to us and asked us if we wanted to join his team for this hackathon, now that we formed a team, we came up with the team name AI Idea because that's Sachin's startup's name. Uh, so we had two problem statements to choose from, and we chose one. Uh, and we chose one of them. It being if we could actually decide using an AI if a person was capable of repaying a loan that the bank gave. This is in the uh, very conventional way that a person would have their bank statements and their credit scores but this is when a person wouldn't actually have them we had to check their other perspectives and other factors if you could actually do it so this was the problem statement that we chose we came up with our four different the important major ones the first one being the population and literacy rate uh, related data from the census and second one being open street map data uh, what was the third one it was about uh, npci data or uh, a digital adoption where we were seeing how many number of people were using upis for uh, you know that was uh, npci data set or the digital adoption which was you know we were uh, taking a particular region and seeing how many number of people you were using upis for the day to day transactions and the fourth one was vias nightlight data which was taken from nasa so we used that those four datas and com combined it to get our external data factors to assess someone's repayment capabilities and boom we did get selected out of about 1800 registrations that actually took place did and we're one of them we were so happy about it and we went to the hackathon venue which was very close by in fact it was around 1.1 kilometers away from malad uh, railway station so we went to the place it was called lane lane club which is like uh, they have a whole building there and they are also the people who hosted the hackathon um, they also partnered up with aws bureau and other companies as well to run this hackathon yes we were really excited about the hackathon and then we went up uh, after we went there we got ourselves registered for the entire hackathon uh, so the entry speech happened the problem statement they explained all the problem statements to us and then we were actually get up for the entire hackathon so we set up camp in one of the rows where they provided like it was a complete office space and it was just slightly modified and our goal was to build an ai assistant as mentioned previously to try and estimate the income so they gave us some training data that was day one so on the second day we completely like started focusing on how to build the model and we did a lot of research as well and we figured out that we can try using gradient boosting and xg boost as like our main source a lot of data actually like a lot of bureau data with a lot of columns as well like 90 different variables for different people so there was a column called target income on that and that was what we were comparing our current data with so we felt like um, we needed to use innovation in this to really stand out so as likita mentioned earlier we used the four external factors and we gave it a weightage of 30% compared to other people who just used their internal factors and gave it 100% weightage so uh, to refresh ourselves we and vega used to play chess uh, in that meanwhile you know to take a small breaks and we used to play uno also so that was much fun and they also had many uh, some fun activities like social media contests quizzes and all so in that i won a first place for the social media contest which i got 500 likes i was the first person who got 500 likes for that and i got a big portronic speaker and the good news was that uh, when deepesh kalki sir the cto and the co-founder of lendin club when he saw my uh, you know work on the social media which i got a uh, 1k plus likes and 10k plus views so he was impressed by my work so he was uh, he was ready to give me an internship regarding the content creation zone so that was re that was really amazing for that the quiz that i participated was called hack the room there were five different rooms and there were different uh, puzzles that i had to solve only when i solved a particular puzzle would i go to the next level so i finished all of those five rooms i finished all those five rooms so i realized that uh, the night of day 2 will also be a really long one because i have to uh, finish up on like whatever working product we had so um, by the time um, around 11 o'clock or so when it was time for commits so um, the way we had to attend, like do this hackathon was that we have Uh, we have a github repository where we have to keep updating our progress on so we keep uploading the files every around 3 to 4 hours i think it was 4 hours every 4 hours when i checked the accuracy of the working product it was 
really high and way higher than I actually expected it to be. So when I went to troubleshoot it, I realized that the model is giving a very high weightage to the target income, which was a mistake on my part. We cannot edit weightages on the gradient boosting model. So I tried switching models and that's where I spent my entire night working on. Actually, Sachin's job was, Sachin's work was to try and like make a pitch for whatever we were building and how ours was more unique. So after the one o'clock code freeze, uh, we had to go up for an evaluation evaluation process and after the evaluation there were only a few teams that would qualify for actually giving the pitch that was like they put up a great base criteria i'm not sure what that was which we were kind of shocked and confused as to how we got selected but yeah we did uh, the fact that we weren't really sad another reason was we were the youngest of the entire lot there everybody there who were participating were either like third fourth year people who were actually uh, pursuing their btech or people who were actually working in professional companies everybody there who actually came and spoke to us were kind of surprised and shocked that we took such a huge step in our very first uh, year and we you know came out to actually do something in our first uh, first year itself the experience which we had in the london club for the next two uh, for the two days was so amazing you know the food the mentors who were expert like you know they were sharing the experiences they were sharing the insights why don't you use this you know they were instead of suggesting vega why don't you use neural network or why don't you use that so they were giving more of inputs they were more of helping us to win so that kind of environment was so uh, you know it was so good and we also walked around we had lots of fun we had lots of like food as well mumbai's food and yeah that's about it i think we made a lot of valuable connections that we will definitely cherish and they will be very useful later on as well and then surprisingly the winner was a team who was a consistent five time hackathon winner so when you got to know that you were a bit shocked like you know winning five time consistently consistently which means that they have been learned from you know 50 or 60 hackathons when i got to know that they won five times so i was thinking that to win consistently five times how many times they might have lost and how many times they might have gained the experience from it and as a first year students we might have hardly participated in five to six hackathons and that made us realize that we have more to go and more to achieve and then what did it is we just walked out simply and while walking we just found a hotel saying something so it was not a hotel it was like a fast food center. yeah fast food center <laughs> and that and such in things that is very cheap so it's like he drags all of us he's like he's doing signs and all asking us to come and we paid we paid around 3 times the normal bill of like if you go if you go to a normal like chaat bandar uh -huh. you'll get the same items for 3 times cheaper but because <laughs> such in had to had to find a place with ac and like one cool interior and stuff we had to pay three times more and i completely blame it on sachin but it's okay he paid for my food wait one more thing also right after the hackathon i looked into the project of the winning people and the main reason they were able to win so effortlessly was the fact that they planned very flawlessly so i learned one of my main learning outcomes was that planning is a really important thing to do even in any hackathon not only just in hackathons but also in life So that was the experience which we had in Mumbai it was so amazing and we had a lot of fun over there and we even had a lot of learnings from there so we hope you know our analytics keep supporting us like this